Hello everyone, this is Ajaz Khan and at today's video we will be discussing how to use decision tree in a decision making with risk and uncertainty. Decision tree technique is basically used where a company has to make a complex decision in a risk and uncertainty situation. Let's understand it with the help of an example. A company has prepared a design for a new product. It can either sell the design for $100,000 or attempt to develop the design into a marketable product at a cost of $1,50,000. If the company decides to develop the product, the chances of success are 0.7. If the attempt fails, the design can only be sold for $20,000. If the attempt succeeds, the business has a choice of either selling the design and developed product for $180,000 or marketing the product. If the product is marketed rather than sold, then there is a 0.6 probability that the product will generate a cash inflow of $800,000 and 0.4 probability that it will generate cash outflow of $100,000. Draw a decision tree and advise management as to their best course of action. Now, if you can look at this particular example, it involves a very complex decision making situation. So, let's see how we can use decision tree to come up to a conclusion of what the company should be doing. Either it should sell the design as it is for $100,000 or should it attempt to develop the design into a marketable product. Before we move towards drawing a decision tree, first let's, let's understand two important points one the decision point and the other the chance point if you just look at this example you will see that at the very start the company has a choice of either selling the design or developing it since these two are the choices of the company this point where it has to make a decision is called a decision point. But once it decides to take a decision, let's suppose that it decides to develop the product, then it may be successful or it may be unsuccessful. Now, the success and the failure are two possible outcomes rather than the choices so this particular point where there will be two possible outcomes is called chance point so when developing a decision tree we have to denote these two types of points with symbols like the decision point should be shown as a square whereas the chance point should be shown as a circle. You can use any other symbols to represent these two points. Let's see how we can draw decision tree to help the company decide what course of action should it take. According to the question, the company has two choices at the start. That is, either it should develop the design or it should sell the design. 
So if it develops or it sells for hundred thousand dollars, if it develops the product rather than selling the product, it has a chance of seventy percent that the product will be successful or it may be a failure. In case of a failure, it can sell this for $20,000. Since the design has turned out to be a failure, therefore, it is now expected to be sold for $20,000. But if the product gets developed, and it becomes successful then the company will have another choice of marketing the product or selling this successful successfully developed product for $180,000 but if it decides to market the product itself it will have 60% chance of earning $800,000 of cash inflows and 40% chance of having negative cash flows of $100,000. Now we have explored all the possible outcomes and choices that the company may see if it proceeds with any decision. Now let's have a rollback analysis and let's try to reach to the initial point where the company has to make a decision of whether it should develop the product or it should sell the product. So let's first look at this point. This is a chance point and there are two possible outcomes. Either the company will be earning $800,000 or it will be earning it will be having a loss of $100,000. Since we're not sure what is going to happen, but either of these two may happen and both of these are beyond the control of the management. Therefore, the company may have either of the two. So, whenever there is a chance point and there are possible outcomes, we will always take the average, the weighted average of the possible outcomes. So, how we can do that? We'll just simply multiply the possible outcome with its probability the possible outcome with its probability and then we will add the resulting figures so if we multiply $800,000 with 0.6 and then multiply minus $100,000 with 0.4 and add these two figures we will get $440,000 and we call it expected value so this chance point has an average profit or expected profit of four hundred and forty thousand dollars now if we go back further we will see that the company had two choices at this point one was to market the product and the other was to sell now so we have already calculated the average profit if it decides to market the product and that will be four hundred and forty thousand dollars instead if it sells this product it will just be able to earn $180,000. So from here, we will just pick the best option because these are the options of the company and the company is, of course, going to choose the best option. So the best option in that case will be to go and market the product as it will be able to earn $440,000, which is higher than $180,000, which, which it can earn after selling the product. So it will choose to market the product and will be earning four forty thousand dollars but remember this decision depends on the success of the development of the product which is a chance of 70 percent now the success or failure both they are beyond the management's control so again we can say that this is a chance point where one possibility is that the, the, the development will be successful and the other possibility will be that it turns out to be a failure. So if it turns out to be a success, the company is going to market it and earn $440,000. Or if it turns out to be a failure, the company will straight away go and sell the 
designed for twenty thousand dollars so both these are possible outcomes rather than choices so we'll again take the average of the two so 440,000 into 0 0.7 plus 20,000 into 0 0.3 if we do this and add them together we will get 314,000 remember how we have calculated it we are just multiplying 440,000 with 0.7 we are multiplying 20,000 with 0.3 and then adding these two figures so we've got three one four triple zero dollars expected value now this is the expected value if we develop the product but this excludes the cost of development so if we subtract the cost of development from this cash inflow we get a net cash inflow of one lakh sixty four thousand dollars which means that if the company decides to develop this design into a marketable product it is expected to earn a profit of one lakh sixty four thousand dollars on the other hand if it decides to sell the design rather than developing it it will just be able to earn hundred thousand dollars so what the decision should be the decision here will be to develop the product as it is expected to earn one sixty four thousand dollars which is of course higher than if the company sells the design for hundred thousand dollars so this was the decision tree which is used in a complex decision like this one I hope you have understood this topic thank you very much